So a three mile hurdle is the final jumps race of the trials day. And the top one is Patman de Charmil for Alex Cherry. Sunrise Malarkey for C. Beckwith. Pock Fulham Valleys for David Robertson. The Noble Ord for Derek Hinton. New Yorkie for Hems. Prendre Histoire for Leon van Rensburg. Percy the Pinto. Martin Lidham. Blind Love for Graham Clutterbuck. Made to be strong. C. Beckwith. Safe Spring Derek Hinton. Polar Mare for Hems. Maddie Tops for John. Fly South for Leon van Rensburg. And Velvet Waters was the bottom one. And away they go. Just about Percy the Pinto in the lead at the moment from New Yorkie in second. Made to be strong is in third place. There are good two or three lengths clear of the remainder. Polar Mare just ahead of that group. There's a horse called something very similar to that in one of the races earlier on. I'm sure it's the same horse, although it's just definitely called something Mare, the other one. Um, so they take the first of the 13. And we're all safely over that one with Doncaster these hurdles do look remarkably small uh, we need to have a little bit of a tweak with the hurdles because they don't look big enough to me anyway New York is in the lead made to be strong is second and Percy the Pinto is third and a bit of a gap back then to Pop Fulham Valleys Polar Mare may or may not be running twice and then Velvet Waters after that one Fly South Maddie Tops the Noble Ord is just about the back marker as they get over number three Safely over that one as well. Drama in this race so far. That previous chase race where they were forward like nobody's business. And New York is the leader. From a made to be strong in second. We see the Pinto. Pop Fulham Valleys is the leader of the main group. Leading three. Oh, you know, a little bit of Indian file on a clear of the rest of them. Pop Fulham Valleys and Polar Mare. With Fly South and Velvet Waters, then Maddie Tops. Supreme de Histoire is after that one. Pat de Charmil as they take the fourth. And then over that one, okay, as well. With still the Noble Lord out the back. New Yorkie by a couple of lengths. To made to be strong second, Percy the Pinto third. That's been the order pretty much throughout. Pot full of valleys has remained in fourth as well. As they take the fifth and Nice one inside the final two miles now then. New Yorkie skips over the sixth. All over that one okay as well. New Yorkie in front, made to be strong second. Percy the Pinto third. Gap for a good five lengths to the rest of them are now headed by Fly South as they pass the big screen. And the winning post. And now swing left handed now then. circuit of the track and New Yorkie leads by a good two and a half lengths. So you made to be strong in second. You see the Pinto in third. And a big gap back to Fly South. Pop Fulham Valleys is next then Polar Mare and Suprinda Histoire and Velvet Waters and Maddie Tops. And very tightly packed at the back. Definitely does seem to be an improvement on SO6 in the weather there. Closely grouped when they're running. It looks like we're getting something pulled up at the back there. Pat Man de Charmil jockey up in the stirrups. And the first pull up I've noticed. In all of the ways, we don't have that many long distance ones, are we? And oh, what a mistake there by Percy the Pinto. Um, Pat Man de Charmil is the only one out of the race. And it's New Yorkie in the lead by about three. And another one's going out the back there. Safe Spring. Is also calling it a day. We've we'll hit that magic three mile distance, haven't we? Once you get to three miles, they start pulling up. I haven't seen anything dramatic like what the two people have been talking about in the forums. Horses in the lead pulling up north. We've got a few strange ones in the final SO6 season. The horses were pulling up when they looked to be going really well. Over the eighth they go. And the first four are pretty much the same as they have been throughout the race, although they're much closer. To each other now as they skip over the ninth it's new yorkie by a couple of lengths to made to be strong second percy the pinto third but now pop fulham valleys breaks that lead in threes monopoly on the first three places and moves into third there's a gap of a good two or three lengths then 
to the rest of them are headed by Suprinda Histoire, but that's when they all conquered Leon van Rensburg's table, so don't rule that one out. He's had a good trials day. I don't think he was in trials day one. Certainly made up for it in trials day two as they take the tenth. And New York is the leader. New York still in front from made to be strong pop full of valleys Percy the Pinto trying to stick on in there but he looks like I'm in the one of the leading group that's going to drop away Polar Bear flies out the Noble Ord is making eye catching progress as well but it's New York who's still in front. New York has been lead all the way, and his stable companion, Polar Mare, is now in hot pursuit as well. But it's New York then in front. From Pockful and Valise and Polar Mare, made to be strong, starting to drop away. The Noble Lord is trying to run on. Percy the Pinto's beaten. Fly South is after that one. They're over the third last now, then, and it's stable companions, Polar Mare and New York. Polar Mare is the first horse to take the lead off. New York throughout the race, but here comes Fly South up the centre of the track, and also Suprinda his and the Noble Lord, they race down now towards the final two furlongs. they've got two flights still to take, and over it they go, and it's Polar Mare from New York, he flies south, Supenda Histoire, and then the Noble Lord, Pockful and Valise is now beaten, but it's Polar Mare in front, here come the Van Rensburg pair trying to run him down, Polar Mare's over the last in the lead, and here come Fly South and Supenda Histoire, Fly South on the outside, is just about in front, Polar Mare's trying to fight back between the two, is Supenda Histoire's three in a line, and also the Noble Lord's trying to come through as well, this is going to be on the and not as a quarter towards the line is Polar Mare Supenda Histoire, the noble lord and flies out, pop full of valise after that one. And did the Leon van Rensburg pair get touched off or did he get another winner? Polar Mare has run a blinding race, whatever's happened, as they've passed the post. That says Polar Mare's the winner. Could be a dead heat. Let's wait and see. It's a short head victory for Polar Mare for Hems. Suprendra Histoire for Leon van Rensburg was second. The Noble Lord for Derek Hinton got to be third. Fly South was fourth for Leon van Rensburg. He should be pretty pleased with his day's work. And fifth was the long-time leader, New Yorkie, for Hems.